Hey everyone, welcome back to Hyper Dragon Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing King Piccolo version C with Pilaf in the game. Okay, welcome back. So, uh, we are going to be reviewing uh, the King Piccolo, uh, the older version, not the version that got rejuvenated uh, with the Dragon Balls. This is King Piccolo, um, you know, the first time he messed up Kid Goku um, before he got the wish to get to become younger again. And uh, this is, uh, so this is by Plex, and it's, uh, it's I believe this is considered a zeme. So, um, zemes are basically plastic, like, they're very lightweight, they're like plasticky, they're kind of like rubbery. Um, it's, it's like, uh, the, the texture is like very uh, rubbery, uh, like plastic, it's kind of like hollow, and I'll show you as well. Um, but anyway, so this is basically a, a zine by Plex, um, uh, Dragon Ball Arise, uh, and this is, um, they, they actually, this is version C, and version uh, C basically comes with the bonus, which is Peel Off and the Gang, and they have two versions of this, right? So, this is the, or, this is not the, well, this is the original version not the special color an original version is basically the anime one and the special color is basically the from what i've been noticing the the anime the um the manga version so the special color is basically the manga equivalent um i prefer the anime that's where i grew up on i mean the manga is nice of course but i grew up on anime colors so anything not anime color wise is weird to me um except for of course trunks if trunks had blue hair i accept it you know but i grew up with him being purple hair but it should have been there's a whole thing on that it should have been blue but it was corrected in super but uh that's always fun about trunks um but anyway let's get to this review try to stop rambling for you guys um let's get him a little 360 view for you guys and he does come off his chair and i'll show you off his throne his demon throne Look at an egg shape head. <laughs> the egg shape head. And it's funny, the Namekians, right? Because obviously King Piccolo is a Namekian. Um, and basically the Namekians, when they get older, their heads basically become more elongated. It's like, I guess it's more wisdom. But that's why his head's like that. And the rejuvenated Piccolo it won't have that. And our Piccolo that we know and love, you know, basically Piccolo Jr. is the one we know and love. Um, uh, so basically... Uh, I'll just get a little bit into detail for you guys. Really good detail. They always do a good job with the zemes. Uh, zemes are always expensive, guys. Even if you get it right from the get-go, they're pretty expensive. Um, this guy ranges anywhere from... I mean, if you were... I don't know why, but the original color, which is this color, is seems to be more expensive than a special color. I've noticed the prices for this one are higher. I think that's maybe because a lot of people prefer the original. You know, the more demand for it, the higher the price. That's the way it goes. Um, but, so these, I mean, I, I really wish I can give you a retail, but it's so hard. I think it was like, they retail for like 250 And basically, the bonus you see here, which is peel off in the game, they're, you, it's, it's like a pre-order thing. Uh, the first few i don't know dozens or only a select few of people that pre-order it first or have like a winning ticket for it that enter for it first get that prize um and then everything else after doesn't really have it um unfortunately um so i don't really know much people that be willing to sell it separately so i mean there might be some you know but uh like for example we have some kuji i really want to do a review on uh, of peel off in the game, basically separate Kuji figures. So, if you guys want to pre-order this or buy this, right, and it's too expensive to get the bonus because the bonus is really expensive right now, shot up to like five hundred dollars or something. Uh, if you guys don't want to pay that high price, then you can probably get away with getting him with the original color for maybe three hundred dollars. I know it's still expensive, but it's less expensive than with the bonus. And then you could just get the Kujis when they come out and put them together. You know, I mean, to be fair, I mean. It's probably more in scale, the Kujis, with this King Piccolo than these guys. I mean, King Piccolo was tall. Like, he was 
Demon King Piccolo was pretty tall. And he is, but, you know, this is just to show his contrast. And I feel like in this moment in anime, it does look like that. Like, he's just that big. Because Mai's, at, you know, this is not the little girl Mai from Super that she got to wish to be young in. This is an adult Mai. So, he he's not that big. Um, but I, I do like the perspective. I do I do like it for what it is. Um, and uh, let's see, guys. Rambling, rambling, rambling. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like some figure reviews videos out there, they just kind of give you just 360, talk about it a little bit, and that's it. I like to, like, just go a little bit more in depth and give you a little bit of backstory to it. So, um, I want to get it. It's just, stop. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you go around then. I was going to grab the gang for you guys. Um, let's see here. Oh no, my battery's dying. Hold on guys, I want to cut this video, then I'll bring it right back. Alright guys, sorry about that. I um, should have charged my phone prior. But, okay, so, I got on a tripod, so might as well. Uh, so this is the, um, let me see, make sure I can see it in the camera good, okay. There we go. <laughs> There's a shadow, sorry about that. Uh, is there a shadow there? Okay, here we go. Alright, so... This is Pilaf and the gang, and there's a little BS, <laughs> it's so funny, BS, right? Uh, <laughs> but that's the copyright print uh, under there. I don't think they're going to make any fake ones of these, so you guys should probably be fine. That's the floor, like the hardwood floor base that was in the uh, King Piccolo spaceship. Um, but I do like uh, these guys, they're fun. It looks like they can come out individually, like I feel like this is a little shaky, I think they can actually prop off a little bit. Oh, yes, they can. Did you see that? So, look, that's so cool. So, you can actually display them without that. I mean, will it stand? He will. So, that's pretty cool, guys. They all, like, just a little bit shaky because they're the only one prong in them. So, I think that's really awesome that they could just... That's so cool. I love that. You could probably even turn them. Like, that's really cool. Okay. Um, enough geeking out over that. Then, King Piccolo himself can lift up. Yeah, looking under his skirt, oh no. So, he lifts up off his throne. And it's basically just, you know, flat, because it has to sit down. That's his cape, you know. Do, do, do. I don't think there's any actual official, like, print, like, copy... Like copyright thing on here, like logo. Um, nope, I don't think there's anything there. And then I'll give you the under the base. It's like a little C Plex 2021 made in China. Then above is like its copyright thing. But these things are hollow. If you can see it there, that's how the Plexes are though. That's how like most of all the zines I know of are. They're kind of hollow. Just like the Toy Festival King Piccolo is hollow as well. So you see that. Okay. Oh, I got to cut the video again, guys. Sorry. Baby's crying. All right. Uh, third time's a charm. Round three. Let's try to get this finished. Uh, don't worry. I'll clip it together so you guys, you know, it'll be in a flash for you. It's like hours for me, flashes for you. But anyway, uh, you saw him off his throne. You saw the throne itself, how it was hollow in the bottom. That's how the plexes are. The um, figures by Plex, you know, the Zemes, they're kind of, some of them are hollow. Um, so, uh, you guys saw that each of these guys could basically be taken off individually, which is really cool. I like that, because if you want to scatter them out or something, or display them with other figures, you can. So, I think that's really cool about that. And, um, uh, like I said, the other version of him, there is a version C. Version C is essentially the one with the bonus which is these guys, and uh, basically it's the uh, manga version, okay? So they're a little bit different in color. He's different in color. The, the throne for him is like more yellowish, like, yeah, like yellowish. Um, then this is like clearly white, but the other one's kind of yellowish. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys like a nice 360 review. Maybe I'll add some music or something uh, just so you guys could judge it for yourself and get your own. Uh, you know, 
kind of take on it. And I'll try to, for now on guys, measure these things for you. And I'll try to put the measurements in the video if it's measurements, if it's too tall for you or the throne's too tall and you can't display it or something. Because that's the big thing for me is like, you know, there's two, like I said before, there's two big issues with collecting. It's uh, limited space and limited funds, you know. You know, you're, you know, even if you're rich, you have limited, you know, space. You can't just, you're going to run out of space. <laughs> so you're going to have to figure out what you want, what you don't want, what you have to sell, what you can get to keep. So height, you know, measurements, the, 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 the width, the height, and the, the depth of a figure or a statue is very important to see if you can even display it. You know, there's a lot of figures and statues I really want and I just can't have because um, I can't fit them. There's just no space. So I will post the measurements in the, um, I if I can put it in the video, I will I'll try to like edit the video to where I could put the, like in the corner or something like that. So you guys can see it. If not, then I'll put it in the description. So what I'm gonna do now guys, just shut my trap and then just have a 360 review for you guys. So you could just see it. I'll try to add some music. All right. everyone i hope you liked the review that's gonna wrap it up for that um any questions or comments uh please just you know comment um you know like if you like dislike if you dislike uh if you like it tell me why if you don't like it tell me why uh the review and the figure you know i want to know your opinion about my reviews and i would also like to know what you think of the figure itself you know if you don't like it if you like the toy festival work version better you know, um, I, I mean, I like that one too. It's just that um, that one's really expensive right now. And I like that the fact that this one comes with a bonus. So I feel like a lot of people that missed out the the Tokyo, I mean, the Toy Festival one. Uh, I think this is a good alternative, especially since they're making multiple versions, you know, with uh, bonuses. You know, there's the regular one. There's the manga version. There's the regular manga ver the, there's the manga version with the, the bonus and there's the regular one with the bonus. So there's a lot more options for collectors. So I like that, you know. Um, so uh, let me know if you guys like this one better than the Tokyo Toy Festival one, or do you like that one better and why? Um, all right then, I'm just gonna end the review there. Okay. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like what I do, just you can subscribe if you want. You don't have to though. Just, um, well, I mean, it would be easier for you guys to probably watch the videos if you subscribe because it'll probably pop up or something, but you don't have to subscribe. I don't do this for like the money or anything. I just do it for fun. Um, and just so you guys can get an idea of what these things are I'm reviewing and maybe it'll help you buy it or not help you buy it. You know, maybe it's something you don't want after this review, but like, ah, oh, you know what? I actually don't like it. That's cool. Uh, you know, or if you do like it, you know, so as long, I'm just trying to inform people and just trying to share the review and see if you guys, you know, dig it or don't dig it. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.